Mr. Rick. Hey, Episode buddy. 54. 54. 54. Pretty soon you'll be as old as me. <laughs> <laughs> it's getting there. Yeah. It's getting there. Boy, uh, in dog years, I'd be dead. <laughs> I know, right? I think we're coming up on a year uh, of the show. I gotta look. Really? I gotta look to see. Yeah, I gotta look to see when the first episode was. I don't recall. I think we're coming up. So I know. I know it's soon. Okay. So that's pretty cool. Hey, we survived this long, right? Right. We survived. Right. Survived this long. I mean, those of you that know know. I uh, you know we had a uh, Tim as the coast in the, the beginning, and then uh, and then you joined us. Yep. Uh, almost midway, really. So I wouldn't say it's one or the other there, but it's a. Uh, a year if you lasting a year i guess we're doing we're doing all right i i would think so i mean i even got hit with anything <laughs> through the computer screen <laughs> so you know <laughs> you see any black eyes it's not from dub <laughs> they're not, <laughs> exactly they're not they're not not showing up they're not not liking it anymore so that's good right <laughs> yeah i mean uh, looking anyway, at our I love view, the hat, man. our view Thank you. Thank you. Um, I was just saying, looking at the views, we've had, you know, a good following, a lot of views. And, you know, thank you for. Yeah, the last couple watching. episodes, we did have some good, we did have some good views. We had, you know, two, 300, 150, 200. I know that's, you know, some people might be like, that's it. Hey, it's a lot for us. You got to start somewhere. That's right. So. And yes, I mean, how can you go wrong with a forest <laughs> Bubba Gump hat? <laughs> Bubba Gump shrimp. Oh, We've all, gotta I, I got to think we've all seen it. You know, if you have uh, shame on you. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's one of the movies that just, it, it, it changed everything. Yeah. From, from the storytelling. And again, a book, a novel before the film. I did not know that. Uh, oh, really? I didn't yeah. know that. Oh my God. Yeah. And he actually wrote a sequel to, to Forrest Gump as well. He did. Yeah, the guy, the 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 author to Forrest Gump. Okay. After Forrest Gump was made, uh -huh. wrote a sequel to Forrest Gump. And in the sequel, Forrest Gump runs into Tom Hanks. <laughs> what? Yeah, it's bizarre. I gotta get this. I have never heard of this before. And the crazy, you remember how you were asking me? Did they stick to the to the book with Jaws? Yeah. This one here, uh, Forrest Gump was was not a skinny guy. He he was oh. a he was a he was a full size man. He was he was pretty hefty. He would have never oh. ran to Santa Monica Pier. Let's put it that way. Okay. Wow. Yeah. It's uh it's interesting. You should read it. It's uh it's it's a good read. Wow. That's crazy. That yeah, they were they were toying with the idea of a sequel movie uh afterwards, and they were toying around with it, and that movie uh they were talking about maybe taking from the Reagan administration in the eighties mm -hmm. through to up to date. Okay. Um, but then nine 11 happened and kind of all bets were off and it got shelved. And okay. next thing you know, Tom Hanks is doing mega movies and this and that. And then by the time they revisited it again, it was just, it, it wouldn't have worked. Okay. That's well, what they said anyway. I don't know. I, yeah. Well, let me tell you, I remember vividly, um, I'm going to say it was around eh, maybe 91. When did the movie come out? 92? <clears throat> What's that? When did the movie come out? Was it 92? Uh, 93. 93. No, 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 no. 94. 94. 94. Okay. Yeah. So I remember going to the movies. I couldn't tell you what the hell I watched. All right. <laughs> I swear to God. But I remember the trailer for that movie. Uh -huh. And I remember thinking, there's no way in the world am I going to miss that movie. No, no really? way. I couldn't wait to see that movie. See, I didn't. That, that was the complete opposite of me. I had no way. I, I never saw this trailer. Really? Um, yeah, I didn't see the trailer in the theater. Or I remember going to the movies and it was uh, Tom Hanks and it was showing about. And so I was like, and the other films just really did not appeal that I wanted to see. Or I had already saw. Okay. So like, yeah, let's go check this one out. And man, I'm glad I did. Oh God. Glad I did. I, I still remember. I can remember sitting in the seat, seeing that trailer, and I was just like, 
it just it just overwhelmed me. I was like, I can't wait to see that. It was crazy. And then was it what's a little boy? Haley Joel Osmond. Is that his name? Yeah. Right? Yeah. Was that little just six cents, little six cents kid? I was just gonna say, was that before <laughs> or after six cents? Which completely uh... freaked me out. <laughs> <laughs> six cents six cents did freak everybody out and again if you don't know by now it's you know we're not going to discuss that six no, cents but, came out yeah it was before because six cents came out in 99 okay because that movie <laughs> i slept with the lights on <laughs> yeah yeah that was that was a few years before though so he was a lot younger he was five years younger okay but yeah that was it was the movie just look it touched base on almost every main storyline in the United States. Right. For a few decades. Right. Uh, starting when he was a little boy with the, you know, the forties and the, oh, not forties, the fifties going through the sixties, through the seventies, and then pretty much ending like the, I would say it was probably ending in like 82, 81 ish. Okay. Uh, again, we're not giving anything away. This movie has been out for, Actually, next year will be 30 years. Oh, my God. 1994, 30 years. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, and it never gets old. I watch it. Whenever I see no. it, I watch it. Never no, I watched old. it. Last, the last time I was on the plane, uh, two hours, I was on a plane. I was like, I, I had that on all the time. I've seen yeah. it a million times. Yeah. Yeah, you know, it's just, it, it touched base on everything. You had Elvis. You had... Uh, it was the down south, so it was a little different with the you know when he the segregation of the schools. Oh yeah, uh, and it, just having him involved in everything, and it could have been the smallest of ways where he he picked up the book and gave it to the girl. Yeah, oh, yeah, book going into college. Yeah. <laughs> or uh, oh come you on, know, you you mentioned Elvis, and I know you're a big Elvis fan like I am. Yeah, you know he's in there doing the broomstick with his freaking braces yeah. on his legs. Yo, man, show me that funky move. And you oh, know who played Elvis? That? Do you remember who played Elvis in that? I do. Go ahead. I do. Kurt Russell. You got it, baby. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Kurt Russell, who played Elvis in the first Elvis movie way back when. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But yeah, I mean, it was so funny. You're watching him with his. With the things on his legs, and he's doing the little dance, yeah. and, the hey, Jimmy, and then they're walking amazing. by the, the 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 display, the TV displays. And yeah, they come back and <laughs> oh, that's so great! Oh, so that's great, great stuff! Great. What do you say? Show me that funky walk, right? Yeah, you know, something like yeah, that. Show me that a little walk. funky walk you did again there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Oh, and the God, way that they, was... oh, the way they inserted him in. Like you said, so many life changing mm -hmm. moments throughout history. Yeah, I mean, there were there was mega uh, moments in the United States history that they inserted him in, and it could have been the smallest of ways. There was some, like I said, the girls' segregation when they yeah. ended that at college, and he just handed the book, and he just went back and just sat there, and it wasn't like he was a main part of it, and he was the big. He was always just there somewhere. <laughs> right. It was just. <laughs> yeah, when he was running away from the bullies and he wound up running onto the Alabama football oh, field and Bear Bryant. Bear Bryant's there. Who is that guy? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, come on. And then they all put it, stop. <laughs> no, because he wouldn't stop. Remember, he just kept going. <laughs> he just, <laughs> he just you kept know, going. I mean, how many people you gotta wonder? Because it when I first saw it, I'm like, did this really happen? Because it was so realistic yeah you yeah. know especially with the old news footage that they inserted yep. him in yeah you know with, oh, when uh, he was meeting like the presidents like he met every president <laughs> right and, i'm like did really happen you know <laughs> you look at the footage like you said it was grainy it was yeah. skipping around a little bit you're like it, it at the time there was no cgi right so this was amazing this was just like what what is going on yeah you know, and you're kind of looking yeah. at it like, did this really happen? I'm like, going, <laughs> you know, who is this guy? <laughs> it's crazy. But yeah, he did that when we went through college. And of course, you know, Jenny, his girlfriend, who was on the, on the bus with him, remember? She was the only one that let him sit down next to him. Oh, yeah. He's walking on the bus. You can't sit here. 
<laughs> right, gets in right, here. right. Then they became, but how they in, how they inserted things in the film that weren't just blunt and weren't just in your face, right. like the whole so thing scary. about the father abusing Jenny, right? Which gave you the backstory of why Jenny was the way she was. Sure, but like you heard it through Forrest, so you know he loved her. He loved her. Like he liked giving her hugs and kisses. Mm-hmm. Like it did. It it sent the insinuation. You knew right. what it meant. It wasn't in your face, right? But it made the point, sure. And uh, and it kept. That's the way he did for everything. He was just. It was the perfect, perfect yin and yang of humanity. Forrest right. was the, the 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 do gooder, the see good in everybody, try my hardest. You know, love this. I mean, just not a bad bone in his body. Yeah, he's not the smartest person, right? You know, and then you had Jenny, who was partier and trying to look for this and that better way and playing guitar in a you know strip club and right drugs right. in california and protests in dc and the opposite end of the spectrum when they uh, when they showed their protest okay because um I, I remember thinking i think i went and like was looking to see if that actually happened remember i said did these events really happen right, so i was kind of right. like looking did this really happen and i saw the <laughs> protest and i'm like oh my god <laughs> was he really there you know it's, he, it's, it might, i mean the way it looked you you wouldn't have doubted it no no it was crazy it was incredible incredible you know one of the most famous lines of the many many lines from the movie is he's about uh, what your, what president was he with? He's like he was drinking all the Dr. Peppers after the Oh, he had to go pay. <laughs> I think I got he had to go pay. pay. <laughs> <laughs> He's with President Kennedy. We was it Kennedy? Kennedy turned around and said, I, but I think he said he got to go pay. Yeah. Remember he went into the bathroom and there was the picture yeah. from Marilyn Monroe. Oh, that's right. Yep, 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 yep. I think he did. Oh yeah. man, so funny. So, so yeah, so I mean, it's uh, it's it's definitely a film. Like I said, here's Jenny with uh, with her hippie garb on. She was definitely the opposite of Forrest in every way, shape, and form. Mm-hmm. Here's Forrest when he was running to the, <laughs> he just kept running. Yeah, he remember did. she said to him, she's like, when you get in trouble, just run. That's right. You know, but after after high school, you know, I mean, after college, he met Bubba. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Bubba, look at him. I got big gums, sir. Right. Yeah, I got big gums. McKelty, uh oh, I can't think of his last name. That one I don't know. That one I don't know. Okay. His name. But I remember he put I remember in an interview he said he put some gauze or something in his uh, lower lip to uh add character to the character. And, sure. Um and then they run into none other than Lieutenant Dan. <laughs> Lieutenant Dan. Oh my goodness, this guy. Actually, you know what? So see, you know, it's like there was no CGI, but there was green screens. Right. So that's how come he looked like he had no legs. And let me ask you. So I'm thinking, I'm watching this movie, right? And I'm like, how did Gary Sinise? Is it Sinise? Sinise? I can't remember. But yeah. I'm like, did he lose his leg? <laughs> You know, I mean, there was no CGI. Like, this is amazing. Yeah, it was just green screen. What they had was it, they show they showed a making of it one time, where this scene in particular, let's just say he's his legs are dangling. Yep. But the green screen is right there, blocking his lower leg off from his knee. Okay. And they just tie they just tie you know his pants there to make it look like the lower leg's gone. No, nope. it's green screen there, and they have just the the fence over it or whatever he's sitting on. Wow, and uh, but yeah, that's uh, well, it's just like it was kind of like with the with the scenes with the president and scenes with the famous people. And he uh, went, remember when he went on the talk show with John Lennon? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Same thing with that, like they just inserted him there, and it was just all the stuff that they did. I mean, they that one in particular. Remember when he was uh, he was talking to him, and he goes, "Well, how is it out there?" He goes, "They have no religion, they have no yeah. possession." <laughs> no. Right, and he's quoting right. the lines from Imagine. <laughs> right, right, yeah, that was crazy, crazy. But obviously, the most famous scene is the the first one we see him in, really, 
right there on the right. park bench. Quick story about this park bench. This this was filmed in Savannah, Georgia. Oh no! And kidding. and it's a beautiful park where it is. We we went there one time, one year just to check it out. Pretty area, and we went to go to Forest Gump bench. So the guy goes, well, you can go to the Forest Gump Park, but they took the bench away. This bench oh. was not facing. This bench wasn't facing the street, so the bus could pull up. Okay. It was just it, like inside the park itself. It's a big roundabout, and then there's a fountain okay. in the middle. And so it's a big round area like this, and there's a big fountain mm -hmm. here. So there's park benches all like this. Okay. But that one there, they built on the street so the bus could go by. Oh, and then after they built, after they filmed, they took it down. Okay, why I don't know. They could have just left it there, but I guess it was on a main thoroughfare, and they okay. didn't want tourists getting run over. So <laughs> 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 might be why. So Let yeah, so we're uh, you know that's the most famous scene. That's the most famous quote. You know, the box of chocolates. Right, like we discussed a couple episodes ago. One of those life-altering uh, quotes from a movie that just affects you. That does their little imitation of Forrest. Life is like a box of chocolates. Yep, yep. Um, but yeah, I mean, if you go from the beginning to to the end, he's just he. Every there's been everything. President, you know, Kennedy was shot. President, and then remember he said, "Oh, he killed his brother." And President, you know, oh yeah, Robert Bobby Kennedy, Kennedy. Was shot. Uh, just every it, event. Uh, it's amazing. Was it Johnson? It's Johnson. The Lyndon Johnson, he was also, he met. To a three Same. minute song and make it rhyme. And it's amazing that they put that film together, pieced it together, and it made it, it just gelled. It was one after another after another, but it contained all of American history, mm -hmm. you know, from 55 to. Like I said, probably 81, 82. Right, right. Well, Incredible. Like I, I was saying, wasn't it, was it Lyndon Johnson who was the one who's like, I got shot in the buttocks? <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> That's actually right after one of that. my favorite scenes. One of my favorite scenes is when he brings him ice cream. <laughs> ice cream. Lieutenant Dan. Yeah. I have ice cream. Yep, yep. He takes the ice cream and he throws it. Lieutenant Dan's all mad he didn't get killed. I mean, how many people do the Forrest Gump imitation? You know, what's that? How many people do the Forrest Gump imitation? You know? Exactly. <laughs> Everybody. I, I think every guy out there has done Lieutenant Dan. Lieutenant Dan. Ice cream. Ice cream. Yep. yep. They say okay. Jenny. Jenny. Yep. I used to do that to Gina. I'm like, Gina, you know my girl. <laughs> yeah. I love it. I love it. You know, and then you know, and then Lieutenant Dan, um, he he uh, he says something like, "Our Forrest says something." Well, Lieutenant Dan invested me in this company with Apple. <laughs> yeah. You know, yeah, you've ever said a fruit company. Worry about money no more. <laughs> yeah, he that's invested our money in a in a fruit company. And we yeah. don't have to worry about money no more. And it's, and a, it's good a good thing. thing. <laughs> they offered me a fine job. I was mowing lawn. <laughs> I know. He's just so innocent. And so I remember in the very beginning when she didn't want him, Sally Field, of course, the great Sally Field played his mother. Right. And she didn't want him to go into the special class. Oh, so yeah. She kind of seduced the principal into yeah. you know, tweaking the, the IQ test. The yeah. forest was out front. Oh, remember, what, remember right. the principal comes out? <laughs> yeah. Your mama really does care about your schooling. <laughs> yeah. He, and then he, Forrest he, just puts he. out the money. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That's hysterical. That little boy. Do you know the, a quick story about the, the, the voice, the, the Forrest Gump voice? That's the way that little boy talks. Okay. And Tom Hanks said, it's easier for me to copy his voice than for – you know, for us to teach him a voice we're going to do. Okay. He goes, so let me just try to copy his voice and I'll just tweak it from there. Wow. So the little kid, you hear how the little kid's all, you know, remember, yeah. you know, hey, what are you, stupid or something? Stupid is, stupid does. You know, yeah. and then, so he just took it from there. Yeah. But, um, and yeah, who has not said that? <laughs> every, I mean, there's so many lines from that film that you can quote. Right. So many. Right. 
Right. It, it doesn't end. It doesn't end. But it's such a great story because, I mean, you, you got, like I said, he loved Jenny all the time. Jenny loved him but knew she was wrong for him. Mm -hmm. She's doing what she's doing, gallivanting across the country and right, doing her crazy stuff. His friend, you know, look how loyal he was to Bubba. When Bubba died in his arms, you wound up doing the shrimp company and yeah. getting, getting it going. And then he gave, remember he gave Bub Bubba's mom the check? Yeah. <laughs> she, Are you still putting his mom? <laughs> <laughs> He's like, now she don't need to cook no more. Yeah. And they, even oh. Lieutenant Dan, Lieutenant Dan was all harsh and, you know, rough to him. And But then there was that one scene on New Year's Eve when he was with the girls. Right. In the apartment. And she called him stupid. Yeah. Lieutenant Dan flipped out. You don't call him stupid. You don't call you know, he, he loved him. He had a heart for him. Oh, sure. Sure it's, he did. Uh, such a good film. Such well-written film. But it, like you said, it just, how he's in, inserted in everything. Right. Everything. Right. And another one of those movies where, like we've talked, you know, that are just so relevant to today's, even today's day and age, you know, some 40 something years later, 30, yeah. 40, you know, Rocky, Jaws, Forrest Gump. These are quotes of movies that we continually yeah. say, you know? Well, you know, it's just like, a, it's just like a, a good story, a good book, a good song, It'll last the, the you know forever if it's that good, right? It's it's it, that simple. It, it really is. It's that simple. I mean, it may be somebody that likes a certain film, and that has a cult following, like they say, where you know a bunch. But for people to to love a certain film for thirty years, forty years, fifty years, there's obviously something about that film that stands the test of time. Right. There's when the masses <clears throat> follow. And you could be walking down the street and you hear somebody say, you know, stupid is a stupid does or <laughs> whatever, you know, you're like, oh, yeah. <laughs> He's just so goofy. He's like, like, remember this scene here when he, oh, in this scene, <laughs> when he first sees Lieutenant Dan? Yeah. He sees him and he just waves to him and then he just jumps off the boat. <laughs> right. I'm like, hey, go get your boat. <laughs> he starts swimming to him. He's like, hey, the boat Dan. crashes into the dock. <laughs> <laughs> oh God, he's just so he he's like a grown child, you know, and that's that's the yep. beauty of it. That's the, the that's the purpose of it. I, um, I always the, love uh, the uh, I always love the part where they're out there shrimping, and he pulls the nets in, and Lieutenant Dan comes down off the thing there, and he goes, "How many did you get?" He goes, "I got three. <laughs> <laughs> well, remember before Lieutenant Dan came and he had the other guy who sold in the boat? Oh, yeah. You get a couple, you get a couple more, you can make a cocktail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I love that. <laughs> and then they waited out the hurricane storm and all the other boats were wiped out except for yep. his. Yep. And then they had shrimp. Oh, crazy everywhere. And then they started the Bubba Gum Shrimp Company. That's right. Which is a real yeah. restaurant right there in his hat. Here it is right here. This is the, the one closest to me. This is about 25 minutes away in Madeira Beach. It's on okay. a big pier. Big pier that right there. Beautiful. So it's right on the end there. Is that all bubble gum? That's no, no. It's right on the, if you're looking at the photo, it's the left end where the, the stairs are. Okay. That whole, that whole section is bubble gum. Okay, and then the rest of it is other shops and restaurants and whatnot. But it's right on the intercoastal, like a mile from the Gulf. Okay, it's uh, but they have good food. I mean, considering it's a touristy restaurant, tourist trap, so to speak. Sure. We ate there, you know, a few times. They have good food. Right, right. We <clears> did, <throat> we yeah, went to the one. In Day, we yeah, we went to the one in Daytona uh, years ago. I remember I bought these tall glasses and. I had a T-shirt. I don't know where the hell that thing went, but um, <laughs> uh, they did. They had very good food and yeah. the service was very good. And I remember the the souvenir shop and the store and all the oh, of course, you know, the stuff that was out there. The bench they had the 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 bench and the the shoes maybe. You could yeah, yeah, that's right here. There you go. Yeah, there you go. <clears throat> you put your feet behind the shoes there, and it looks like you got the shoes on. He's got his his suitcase that he had. Right. And yeah. Every shirt in there is, you could find like every quote, you know, he's the ping pong champion. He's the, you know, the, the, 
the army guy. He's got everything and every kind of T-shirt you can find in there. You know, and for the longest time, I thought he was actually doing that with the ping pong. Oh, but, that was, <laughs> but that was whatever, however they did that. I don't know if it was CGI or whatever they did. Obviously, yeah. it was an early form of CGI, yeah, because that was still around the same time as uh, that was 94. So 93 was Jurassic Park. So there was CGI in, in the beginning stages. Okay. Uh, but not as prevalent as it is now. But right. yeah, to see the ping pong. Remember when you had both paddles? Yeah. yeah. I'm like, damn. <laughs> way to go, Mr. Hanks. You come oh, a long way from bosom buddies. <laughs> Remember all the pictures that he had taken of him? He had his eyes closed. <laughs> right. Right. You know? Remember when he had he came home and uh and his mom goes, uh, you know, they'll give us fifteen thousand dollars if you just say you like this ping pong paddle. And he's like, oh, mom, I just like my paddle. And she goes, well, let's hold it. Maybe it'll grow on you. And he goes, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> close his eyes. Right, right, right. He's so funny. But then it had so many, you know, again, you're talking about what's the, the round 14 in, in Forrest Gump. I mean, it's almost the whole movie. Because, I mean, he's 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 the underdog from the get-go. He's he's not as oh, intelligent. Yeah. He, has, he has bad legs. He he obviously has conditions, and right. he uh, he overtakes all of them and becomes a war hero and becomes a ping pong champion and becomes a college athlete and becomes a a father, right? Which we find out later on in the film, right? And there's just so much that he he accomplished and went past that, and that was such <clears> a <throat> great moment. And he, I thought he played that so well when Johnny's like, you know. And he's like, well, or uh, Forrest is like, well, what's his name? And he, he's, she says, well, he's named after his father. You know, he's got a father named Forrest, too. <laughs> it's, and he's it's just so like, innocent. Yeah. And he's like, she's like, no, 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 you didn't do anything wrong. I just, I mean, Tom Hanks can, you know, like we've said, he can read yeah. the phone book and we'll all yeah. be just glued yeah. to the TV. Yeah. Right? But then there's certain lines, though, like, like in that, that scene in particular, when he wants to know if he's stupid. Yeah, he's like, is he, you know, and when he he you can is see he, it in his face. He's like, is he is he, you know, it's smart. she's like, no, he's smart. He's top in his class, and you know, and it's for him to know that he's not all there, right? And, that's, and he he just portrays that so amazingly. Like you said, he's such a good actor, right? And I and I'm not even ashamed to say this, and I'll tell you straight up, I have that theme song on my playlist. Love it, absolutely love it. For Forrest Gump? Yep. Oh, yeah. The, the one with a feather falling. With a feather? Yep. <laughs> yeah. Not even ashamed to say it. <laughs> it's a great song. I love that song. You know, just that it's, piano. Uh, well, it's, not, it's great. Everything. The acting, the, the, the casting, the directing. Robert Zemeckis, who did Back to the Future. Uh, great, you know, director for that film. I mean, he's just so much good about it. And then, of course, the soundtrack, like you just said, besides the the um, besides the main song with the feather, like you're discussing, what about all the songs that were in it? You know, you can go your own oh, way yeah. and you can, you know, uh, Jackson Brown was in it and we had Fleetwood yeah. Mac in there and you had, uh, it was just one popular song after another. Again, one of our, showing like American history and music. One of our very favorites, you and my, you and yours and my favorite, Jimmy Buffett had a, a song that, I don't know if it ever made the movie, but it was on the soundtrack. So you did buy the cassette. You know, uh -huh. those of you who remember what cassettes are, <laughs> cassette. <laughs> they, they came after the eight tracks. Um, yep. Uh, Star, stars, uh, was that fell on Alabama? Stars and it fell on Alabama. I think it was. Oh, okay. Yeah. 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 That was on the soundtrack. It might have been um, in there. I, you know, there were so many songs there. Sweet Home Alabama, of course, was in there. Uh, there's just so many. This it, it, I'm telling you, if you if you watch that film and then listen to Billy Joel, who start the fire? We we didn't start the fire. That's a summary summary of American history, right there. Right, absolutely, absolutely. I remember yeah. back in my early years working, um, we used to mow one of the cemeteries, and I had one of those Walkmans, you know. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, I put my cassette in it, you know, and um, I always listen to the Forrest Gump soundtrack, you know, 
and and it just played over and over oh, and over. Great soundtrack. It was a great, just a great soundtrack, you know. Yeah, so oh, yeah. many, so much. It, it, it's like a you know a American, you know, rock and roll hall of fame soundtrack. It's just it's got a bunch of good songs there. I mean, from when he, from when he started running. Remember when you know, I just wanted to run, and he ran to the Santa Monica Pier, and then he ran to Maine, and then. Yep. I think I'm I think I'm gonna go home now. I was tired. <laughs> you know, I, and, and then like you said, the subtleties, you know, when the guy he was like, I ran into this guy, he was down on his lock and he had all these shirts and he did, you know, he's like, Oh man, you just stepped on a big pile of duck, and he's like, It happens. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, What? Yeah. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> and then the next thing is there's a bumper sticker. I mean, yeah. come on. And then the other yeah. one. He, the guy, the other one, he had the shirts and he's like, you know, with the yellow. He's like, no one likes this color. Here, wipe your face. And he goes yeah. like that. <laughs> he's got the smile. Have a nice day. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like all, and, and, and think about it, like, again, American history. They were everywhere. Yeah. The bumper stickers, the t-shirts and stuff. Oh, man. Just it was those so little, guy. those little soldies that they put in there. Yeah. You know, oh, God. And then you add those, and then you add the acting. You know, it's uh, and again, it had some emotional scenes. Obviously, when his mom died, when Bubba, even when Bubba died, yeah, you know, it was emotionally he said he's. And that's all I want to say about that. You know, he, he's like the way he's telling right. the story, and of right. course, when his mom dies, uh, when when he finds out about Little Forest, mm -hmm. you know, it's, and then of course Jenny, when you know when that happened. Uh, and then, and well, they never came out and said what it was, but it's like it was a virus that you know they didn't have a, a cure for. And at that yeah, time, you, kinda, you know, you put two and two together, and it was, I'm thinking, you know, it was HIV, AIDS, you know, I mean, they showed her injecting herself, right? Right, it was know? the very beginning of the 80s, it was, you know, that's when AIDS first started, and you know again sharing needles and doing who knows what that she was doing and that's exactly right. what it was it was exactly right. what it was right uh yeah but uh, you know it's uh it's bittersweet it's sad it's funny it's historical uh it, it's everything it's everything i could watch that movie anytime any day yeah uh, anymore uh, right you know i don't care where it's at either right you know i just pick it up from wherever it is Right, because you know what already happened, and <laughs> you can just run it in your mind and Great. let's go. Absolutely. There you go. You're mentioning the you mentioned the feather song. There's the feather. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. Isn't That's that what right caught there? me. That's what caught me in the in the movie theater during the coming attractions was how that feather was just floating. Yeah, they just show that feather floating. How they made it and then it landed at his feet and, yeah. and just the song is it's you know, it's like Conti with the Rocky music some of the different Rocky songs, you know, it's one of those yeah. songs that just, it just grabs you and doesn't let you go. At least it was for me, the Forrest right. Gump song. And I'm like, wow, this is, you know, it just grabbed a hold of me. And it was just something that was like, I've got to see this. It's just, it's so funny how the <clears throat> integral, integral parts of movies, how they wouldn't be, you've said it as good without a great score. Yeah. You know, agreed. Agreed. And I think I think that goes to sh with a lot of films. You think about a lot of the great films, the films like you just said earlier, that are around 30, 40, 50 years. Okay, you name the Rocky, the Godfather, Jaws, Back to the Future, Forrest Gump. And, and again, so what do they all have? They all have an original soundtrack that if you take right. out, you know, Indiana Jones, you, right. you take Star Wars, you take any of those films and you change that music. Now, again, do I think that if Rocky was done exactly the way it was, except for Bill Conti's score, would it have been as good? No. Would it have been as successful? Probably, if, if it was everything else was the same. John right. G. Allison, Stallone, the whole nine yards. But I do believe that that played on the success, as I do The Godfather or Forrest Gump or any of these other Back to the Future, any of these other films that have those scores that are just – as recognizable as, as, as the film. It's the, the impact that it has when whatever is being portrayed on the scene and they nail the music right there to what is going on. And it just 
pulls everything together. It's like yeah. watching a horror movie with the sound off. If you think yeah. about that, if you were to watch a horror movie with the sound off, is it as scary? Right. You know. Right. Right. And there's that old saying that music is uh, what feelings sound like. Right. And and it is. Yeah. You know when it when it just so, draws you in. It really is. That's what feelings sound like. That's what the passion sounds like. That's what that emotion sounds like. Perfectly done. Well, my friend, another good episode. We seem to be buffering here and there, so we might want to not push the envelope. Okay. <laughs> see, yeah, I know see what's going on. I keep I know, saying every every episode, I'm going to get that cord, and I need to because I think I'm the one that's doing it. I'm well, sure. I I can't tell what it's doing outside. I'm in the basement. I right. mean, it could be me. We've been having issues as well. You know, damn Wi-Fi. Well, I'll get the cord. Let's put it this way. I'll get the cord. And if it keeps happening, then it is you. So, okay. <laughs> <laughs> then I'll be grounded. <laughs> right, exactly. All right, my friend. Well, until next week, we'll have to say goodbye to everybody. And we'll talk to them all next week. But another good show. Another yes. great film. Yes, and, absolutely. Uh, and, and, you know, go out and see it if you haven't. If you haven't, I don't. I don't understand. But yeah, I know. what are you been living under a rock? <laughs> we'll leave we'll leave it at that. Yeah. All right, my friend. We'll see you next week. All right, you got it, buddy. Take care. Have a great week. Take care. Yeah, we'll see you.